This whole place and everything and everyone in it was stupid and boring. I mean, I had another two weeks of this stupid, boring dump. I wish it was, it, it, it was just the last day ever of this stupid, boring holiday. Stay at Asphodel Meadows And you'll feel like you have come home An experience that you can't miss Come stay at Asphodel Meadows One city you'll never want to go It's bed and breakfast with a twist The Harker family stepped into the hallway of the bed and breakfast Wide toothy smiles across her wide goofy faces Oh, it's simply enchanting, exclaimed Mr. Harker. We won't want to leave here in a hurry, cried Mrs. Harker. The son Julian, however, kept the same disgusted sneer he had worn since they'd left home. Now, oh, great, thought Julian. My 11th birthday is going to be the most stupid, boring birthday anyone has ever had in the world. Ever. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Harker. A shrill but friendly voice made all three of them suddenly turn round. I'm Mrs. Magmel, and welcome to Asphodel Meadows Guest House. The voice came from a very happy small woman, just on the stairs. Julian noted she was a small woman, very small and very blue, actually, blue cardy, blue dress, blue rinse on her head, blue. In fact, Julian thought, she looks like an old Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell in retirement years, and he smiled to himself. As he thought this, Miss McMill suddenly turned her attention to him, and she winked. And a very happy birthday to you, Julian. How does she know, thought Julian. Oh, I know. My parents must have told her when they were booking this stupid, boring dump. Why are they always telling people my business? And then Julian shuddered, remembering the time when his mother told everybody at the school gates about the weird spots on his back. He never lived that one down for months. Julian found his parents embarrassingly tacky. The way they dressed in matching jumpers, tacky. The way they sang Summer Holiday on the train here in front of everybody tacky. But what Julian found really tacky was his parents' choice of holiday, the seaside. Julian hated the seaside. I mean, it's populated with people, noisy people, stupid, boring people that smelt of chips and, and, and low aspirations. Tax central. Julian would love a tour of your guest house, Ms. McMell, said his father. What? Julian had missed what had been discussed by his parents and old Tinkerbell. We'll dump the bags and head straight out to the pleasure beach. And as you're the birthday boy, you can go on anything you want. How about the first train home? He spat. His parents laughed. They weren't even listening to him and just ran upstairs like a pair of excited teenagers. Come on, Julian. I've got some things to show you, said Ms. McMell. Oh, great. A walk round old Tinkerbell's dump. Maybe you'll make some friends. Fat chance, thought Julian. You see, Julian and other children did not get on. Julian found other children either boring or stupid, and most of the time both. Other children never wanted to play Julian's games. I mean, they never wanted to play King Julian's Castle. No, no. Oh, they never wanted to play Let's Sing a Song of How Brilliant Julian Is. Oh, no, no. They wanted to sing songs like Julie Julian, Spotty Back Alien, which was stupid and boring. Now your parents have gone, I'll let you into a little secret, said Ms. McMahon. They entered the room. Julian thought it looks old. In fact, it was just an old and smelly room. So old, Julian thought, he half expected to see Sherlock Holmes knitting by the fireplace. Old, boring, stupid. So Julian yawned really loudly. 
Actually, Sherlock knitted this cardi I'm wearing. How does she know what he was thinking? That was odd. So have you made your birthday wish yet? But before Julia could say, I'm 11, not four, she held up her hand. Shh! Don't tell me your birthday wish yet. Not until you've read the guesthouse brochure. Miss McMell pointed at the old man in the chair. It's Mr. Dahl's birthday. How old do you think he is? Julia wanted to say 100. But you can't say 100 to old people because old people get really upset if you say that they look 100 and they say, you're a rude young boy and you say, you're a miserable old skeleton and then they say, get out of the library. So you can't say 100 because it upsets them. I don't know, said Julian. Is he 100? Oh dear me, no, <laughs> laughed Miss McMell. Mr. Dahl is 378 years old today. What did she say? Did Julian hear that right? Yes, Mr. Dahl came here on his 11th birthday. He loved birthdays and he wished that it was his birthday every day. So now it's his birthday every day. However, he ages a year every day as well. Now he can't leave here. He didn't read the guest house brochure before he wished, you see. Julian frowned. Old Tinkerbell was as dotty as a fruitcake. Ms. McMell then nodded towards the old woman at the table. That's Miss Carol. It's her birthday as well. The old woman was busy with a huge pile of notebooks. It was the summer before her first year at secondary school, so that makes her... Eleven. Of course! Well, her birthday wish was to be the cleverest person in school and to know every answer to every school exam question. But she made her wish before reading the guest house brochure as well. Now she's stuck here as a genius university professor. She sets all the exams in the country now. Julian scowled. This woman isn't dotty. This woman thinks Julian is stupid. Are you saying birthday wishes come true? muttered Julian. They do here, said Ms McMahon. That's the secret of this place. It's magical. Julian would have burst out laughing if he wasn't so insulted. Old Tinkerbell thinks he's gullible enough to believe this. But as they say, be careful what you wish for. It may come true, interrupted Julian. No, always carefully read the instructions in the brochure before wishing. And with that, Miss Magmel sauntered out of the room. Julian snorted in derision, and he didn't care if Mr. Darl and Miss Carol heard him either. This whole place and everything and everyone in it was stupid and boring. I mean, another two weeks of this stupid, boring dump. I wish it was, it, it, it was just the last day ever of this stupid, boring holiday, screamed Julian. Julian looked round. He noticed Mr. Dahl and Miss Carol were looking at him and they were grinning really strangely. Julian, a bit perturbed by this, decided to leave the room. As he did, he walked straight into his parents at the foot of the stairs and both were holding their still packed suitcases. Come on, Julian, we'll miss the train home, said Julian's father. Huh? spluttered Julian eloquently. Two weeks just fly by when you're having fun, don't they? said Julian's mother. Julian couldn't believe what he was hearing. But, well, well, actually he could because it was his mother who was saying it, but it had happened. It had come true. It would be lovely to stay here forever. His wish had actually come true. And with that, Julian started to smile. Not that smug, oily smile that he usually does. Oh, no, 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 no. This was a happy smile, a genuinely happy smile. And then he started to laugh and I, I, laugh. Not that smug, snidey, oily little laugh that he usually does. No, 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 no. This was, this was a hearty laugh. This was a happy laugh. And, it, and his parents joined in too. His parents joined in. They all started laughing together. And for the first time ever for that family, they all laughed together. This is the best birthday ever, thought Julian. 
as the Harker family walks out the front door together. The Harker family stepped into the hallway of the bed and breakfast. Wide toothy smiles across their wide goofy faces. Oh, it's simply enchanting, said Mr. Harker. We won't want to leave here in a hurry, cried Mrs. Harker. The son Julian, however, kept the same disgusted sneer he had on his face since he'd left home. Ah, oh, great, thought Julian. My 11th birthday is going to be the most stupid, boring birthday anyone has ever had in the world. Ever! Come stay at Asphodel Meadows, relax a magical repose, we will fulfill your every wish. Come stay at Asphodel Meadows, your troubles and your worry goes, it's bed and breakfast where the twins.